The Deepwater Horizon oil spill was the largest accidental offshore oil spill that had ever occurred. The magnitude of the task at hand was significant and we had never undertaken a damage assessment of this scale before, or an oil spill response of this scale before for that matter. We had to think about how we were going to get teams out to assess the entire northern Gulf of Mexico ecosystem. It was very challenging being in the Gulf immediately after the spill. It was a very high stress situation and it required a lot of expert support. This assessment was different than any other spill that anyone else had ever worked on in terms of the scope and the duration. We were facing an incident that we had never had to deal with before. Our job was to determine what was going on with the incident. So where was the oil spill? How was the oil coming out? How much oil was coming into the environment? Where was it going? And then what resources would be in the pathway of that oil? And what habitats, what mammals, what turtles, what birds, what fish, what type of organisms were going to be impacted by the oil? How much was the injury? How significant was it? What types of injury did they have? how long it would take those resources to recover. And then we had to determine what type of restoration projects would help those resources recover. We had to determine what the cost of those restoration projects would be. The whole team knew how much was at stake. We knew we needed to get out there and collect the right data that was going to help us understand what was happening in the environment. And it was, it was such a big spill that the, the pressure to get it right was really great. We had to send field teams out into the environment to collect samples, things like water samples and sediment samples, and collect animals and organisms to understand how much they were contaminated. And we do chemical analyses of those samples, and we conduct tests on the animals. We also do these field tests and field sampling in combination with laboratory tests. We conducted over 600 toxicity tests in the laboratory and in the field on over 40 different species. We determined that the entire northern Gulf of Mexico ecosystem was affected by this oil spill. The effects that were seen in one area of the Gulf were cascading into other areas of the Gulf. Some of the most significant impacts we saw were along the shoreline. We found that over 1,300 miles of shoreline were oiled. That's the equivalent driving distance from New Orleans to New York. The tools and methods that we developed for the Deepwater Horizon spill have significantly advanced our ability to understand oiling effects on resources for spills moving forward. We had to develop tools to help us understand where the oil went at a scale that we had never done before. The surface oiling footprint was so large that we could not characterize the whole thing by using an airplane. And we had to figure out how to evaluate the extent of the surface oiling by using sensors that were on satellites, on fixed wing aircraft, on drones from helicopters, which is something we had not had to do for an oil spill before remotely operated underwater vehicles are now being used to characterize oil in the water column in ways that have not been done prior to the Deepwater Horizon. These tools are more accurate at characterizing the oil in the environment because we are able to see the oil with finer resolution and with sensors that allow us to understand more about its nature and its chemistry. These tools that we've developed also allow us to more rapidly understand what's happening in the environment. An oil spill is a very fast-moving event and we have a need to get out there and respond very quickly to clean it up and also to collect data and information to understand what's happening to the environment that has been affected by the oil.